Hey, good morning, Nourished Life Club. It's my birthday. And so I love my birthday. I was kind of uh, not in the birthday mood until today. And so now I am. And um, happy birthday to me. Awesome. And this morning I get to meet with some of my favorite, favorite women that are a part of my Brave Creations Inner Circle. Of course, you ladies are my favorite as well. Um, Brave Creations Inner Circle is a group that you might want to consider. And it is a mastermind group. And so every single Monday, every Monday from April until November, we meet for office hours. And what does that mean? That means that we're going to be diving deep into their strategies, their book launch, their programs, products. Um, I'm going to tell them the good, bad, and ugly from uh, my launch last week. And... Um, so we're, we're diving deep in and we do that every single Monday and it's really a, a great gathering hub. So I get to do that. Then I get to go out with my husband to one of our, um, our new favorite food that we have just discovered. And we're going to go on the trolley, the McKinney Avenue trolley. So I'm excited. It's going to be a good day. Um, I'm also over here excited about our new worksheets. And uh, I dropped two in yesterday. And I just am working on another one. Why? Because I love worksheets. So I printed some out in black and white for myself so that I can fill them out for today. And then I dropped in, yes, you saw them. I dropped in the color version, the weekly habit tracker. And so I want you to use this. Can you hear me? I want you to use this. And here's the 90 day prog pro progress tracker. Again, you do not have to print them with a the pretty color like I just printed two with blank. And I'm gonna track the water that I'm drinking already and be intentional about it. I am going to write down my goals for the week. I am going to write down, uh, you know, business habits are also habits. So I'm gonna write down what three or four or five things here that I'm gonna focus on paying close attention to. It's about paying attention. Okay, so I hope you do the same and we were, we're gonna dive in and talk more about the habit creation plan worksheet tomorrow on our call. All right, so let me tell, teach you two concepts, just two, hi, hi Jan, two concepts that you are gonna want to ponder and use. So the first one is Kaizen. Hang on, got all sorts of books and uh, worksheets in front of me. Kaizen, Kaizen. So uh, here we go, Kaizen, the word Kaizen, K-A-I-Z-E-N, the Kaizen way. I have a couple books that refer to this. Uh, but this one is con called One Small Step Can Change Your Life. Okay. And what is Kaizen? It means continuous improvement. Kaizen has two definitions using very small steps to improve a habit, a process, or a product. Using very small moments to inspire new products and invention. Oh my gosh. So... I learned this, gosh, I don't know, I learned this word maybe 10 years ago. Continuous improvement, Kaizen. It's a principle that we're walking through. It's what we live. And the beginning of this book, the quote says, change is hard. Yeah, change is real hard. Uh, that's why I made this group for us. So we can practice being, uh, walking through change and doing the hard thing and learning how to eat something new or walk out the, into the world in a different way. So that's your concept number one. Type it in for me, Kaizen. When you're watching this, type into the box, Kaizen. See if you can spell it. And then we're gonna practice this. And then the other phrase I'm teaching you today, I was re reminded of last night, Hari Hachibu. I'm probably saying it wrong. Hari Hachibu, H-A-R-A-H-A-C-I-B-U. I typed it into the, the situation here go read it the people of okinawa one of the longest lived and healthiest populations in the world practice a principle they call hari hachi boo eat until you're 80 percent full oh my gosh this is a sensible idea but also easier said than done how in the world do you know when you're 80 percent full i'm reading from in defense of food i was talking about this book yesterday with you guys um i actually finally found the other book i was talking about here who else is live with me Food Rules is a really cool book, um, color picture book, uh, with all of the concepts, with all this cool art, and oops, 
pardon me, um, art. And I love, this book is amazing. And it has all these cool drawings and art and all about, like I'm just right here, 58, it's okay to be a little hungry. 59, don't let yourself get too hungry. So, I mean, he, it's really a great little book that um, I found a lot of great wisdom in. Order the small. Serve a proper portion and don't go back for seconds. Um, you know, these are some simple little things about eating food. Remember, his mantra is, uh, what? Eat food, not too much, mostly plants. You get to decide what you are going to eat. Um, and I'm going to show you different, you know, ideas and ways. And you get to kaizong on yourself over there. Okay? So let me go back to this concept. Hari hachi boo. You, uh, we'd have to be really much more closer in our senses than Americans have become. Um, Americans typically eat not until they're full, but rather until they receive some sort of visual cue from their environment that it's time to stop. The bowl or package is empty. The plate is clean or the TV show is over. Oh my gosh. And of course our portion size have gone up and up and up and up. And so he's talking about learning to listen for the 80%. Wow. What in the world? What a difference that would make. Um, I haven't gotten on the scale in, what, 34 days? Is that what I said? Let me go look. Let me go look. I took a picture of it. 35 days. That's the longest I've ever not been on the scale in my whole 48 years. And so that is forcing me to listen to my, my body, my hunger, my emotional hunger, my real hunger, my digestion, and all sorts of things I normally ignore. And that's really a part of this nourish process as well. So uh, I'm going to sign off so I can get ready for my office hours. Uh, type below once you watch this and let's practice our Hari. Let me see if I can say it. Hari Hachibu. Let's practice our Hari Hachibu today. I'm going to write it down and put it on my fridge and put it in a couple places. You know, post-it notes to your friends. I've got them all around. Act as if. Here's my another one that's getting all worn up. Just enough. Just enough. Hari Hachi Boo. So um, let me know if this is helpful. And uh, we're gonna you're gonna get a lot of more, a lot of more of all this. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.